What's up, YouTube pranksters? You guys probably have no fucking idea who I am. And I have no fucking idea who you are. Quite frankly, I don't think we give a fuck. You're watching this video because you're bored as fuck. And I'm making this video because I'm bored as fuck. And I'm on holidays. And I have nothing else to do other than make fucking videos. I'm gonna keep the intro short. My name is Sanjay, or Jay, as you guys are gonna be addressing me. I'm gonna make all kinds of stupid fucking commentaries for the time that I have time. I'm currently in uni studying law. I'm not doing anything at the moment though. I'm in fucking Malaysia with my girlfriend and my family, chilling. It's currently like 1 a.m. and I've decided to make a fucking video. Just a quick reminder: my channel is gonna be completely satirical, and there's gonna be a lot of insults to you guys and your parents probably. So if you guys are lighthearted and don't like really mean jokes, just get the fuck out right now. If you've already come this far and enduring the shitty fucking mic I have and the shitty fucking gameplay I have in the background. Then we might as well continue with the real topic at hand. Valve today introduced something extremely cool. Basically what Valve did is they noticed the amount of scams that's going on uh, concerning the referral rate links to all these gambling websites on CSGO. So for example you would have this site called CSGO Raffle. This is just an example. And you have some fucking retard going on CSGO launch posting his fucking referral link all over the page. And it wouldn't even work. Or it could go something like, Oh my god, come to my website. <laughs> come to eGiskins.tw and download this fucking program. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I died of literal cringe right there. And uh, for everyone that's going in the comments right now saying, Oh my god, you fucking pyrocynical, leafy fucking imitation fucking idiot. You unoriginal fucking cunt, kill yourself. Fucking fuck! To you I say, go fuck yourself. Anyway, basically, it's just a bunch of whole fucking bullshit going on on all these good sites like CSGO Launch or CSGO Prizes.net and Com, I don't fucking know, or any of the lottery or gambling websites, and it's kind of sad to see this. And Valve potentially, f or practically flagged a lot of these pages that are actually legit. I'm going to put up a picture right here to see what it's like when you join um, one of these pages when you want to sign in. And the thing is, some people don't actually see there's a little thing you can do, uh, which is circled here. Uh, to actually get into the website. Now, I mean, you could argue that this is a good thing. I mean, this is going to deter a lot of the referral link bullshits that they're doing. But at the same time, you got to think about it this way, that a lot of people that are going to be new to Counter-Strike Go, and we all know that Counter-Strike has grown immensely since 2015 started, uh, they're going to be afraid to go on these websites. And I mean, there's good sites, and I'm afraid even CSGO launch might eventually be flagged by Valve because of the amount of referral link bullshit scams that are going on there. And the worst part is, it's not even only referral links, it's actually like, it leads you to a site where you put your skins into a certain lottery, in quotation marks, and it ends up just being some guy that's sitting behind his computer like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking make big bucks off of this, and he gets fucking three P250 sand dunes battle scarred. But still, he there's still people that could possibly put in like some high priced skins, that are, even if it's just $15, it's still $15. But again, this could potentially scare off people that have just recently joined the game and have started, you know, making their way into the CSGO market and an economy that has been growing immensely. I mean, you have, you know, knives that are going for multiple thousand dollars. I see, I saw some posts in CSGO trading, Reddit for like 200,000 for some Doppler. So, you know, it's crazy. And I mean, if they don't have the chance because they're too afraid to go into the, you know, onto the websites, that would just suck, you know. Personally, I just think these whole scammers, they should just go kill themselves. Just just end your life, guys. Please. And I think the biggest problem that's actually going on on CSGO launch and just generally the CSGO market is that there's a lot of very young people that are currently trading. So you have, like, 12-year-olds that go and take their mom's credit card and buy a fucking factory new Doppler and OP skins. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, if they want to buy it, go ahead. And if they got their parents' permission to do it, go ahead and fucking do it. But the fact that there's so many scammers out here that know that there's kids out there that will fall for something like this, and they took their mom's credit card to fucking buy these skins, you know, it's just really sad, and it's dangerous for them, too. They can potentially lose a lot of money and even their credit card information, their entire Steam account, potentially, if they don't have the Steam Guard enabled, which I recommend everyone does at this point. Personally, what I think, I just re recently got into the whole trading scene of CSGO. Personally, what I think uh, Valve should do is they should just do a PSA on their, you know, CSGO front page like they do for every update and just, you know, warn everyone of the scammers and if they don't read that, actually make like an, a special notification when you start the game 
because I know that this ba this thing is a big deal. And I mean, in Malaysia here, they actually blocked one of their, you know, one of the credit card companies blocked you from actually buying anything gaming related on Steam because of the amount of fraud that's going on there. So personally, I just think Valve should actually step in and instead of just blocking his website completely, uh, with you actually not seeing the damn button to go onto the website, they should just focus on actually like educating people on what kind of scams there are and just generally like what you can do to prevent being scammed. And I know technically you could argue, you know, you should do that yourself. You can go on, you know, Steam forums, you can go on fucking Reddit and see what kind of scams there are. But I personally think that Valve would have a better, like, you know, they just have a better chance of doing this considering they have the entire base in their hands, whereas not everyone's on Reddit. But I mean, everyone that plays Counter, or everyone that's in the market actually plays Counter-Strike. So when they open up Counter-Strike, they'll get a notification, you know, beware of scammers. You are of the referral links. Don't click any links you don't know of, and just you know try to deter the whole like situation. I mean, it's a good step, and they have good intentions. But personally, I think they could have handled it better, just because this is going to make a lot of sites look really bad. And I personally do use a lot of these sites now. I just recently got into it, so it's kind of sad to see this whole thing happen. Thank you for watching this stupid rant on something completely unnecessary. I was just really bored, and I decided to do a video. If you do enjoy my videos, please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you didn't like it and if you hate my voice and my microphone leave a dislike and tell me to go kill myself i'd appreciate that a lot so again guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye